and years, other nations paid less for drugs than we do, sometimes by 60, 70 percent. Why should other nations pay much less than us? The president right there preparing an executive order to lower prescription drug prices that will impact you. But why haven't past presidents taken these steps when they've promised to do it? Eight million Americans, eight million Americans each month will continue to make choices between drugs and other essentials, including literally the food on their tables. We will negotiate for the cheapest available price on drugs, and we will do it by the end of my first term as president of the United States of America. Well, that came and went. Here to react, former Congresswoman, former practicing physician, Nan Hayworth, also from the Independent Women's Forum. Good morning, Nan. Good morning, Nan. So why didn't it get done? Not just under those Democratic administrations. We've had Republican presidents who didn't get it done. Absolutely. Uh, you know, I also happen to have worked uh, with the farm industry for a time as well. And, you know, there's a lot of turf to protect. Uh, they don't like rocking the boat. Foreign countries will threaten to basically violate patent protections and duplicate their drugs or molecules. The drug industry makes a lot of money. They give campaign contributions to both parties. They do, exactly. And, you know, our trade policy also hasn't uh, necessarily come into play. So <laughs> these other countries have been able to get drugs discounted. And U.S. consumers have paid the price. Mm -hmm. And so now you have President Trump come in. He said, he comes in. He says he's going to change our trade policy. Exactly. He's been working on that. Right. There's been controversy around it. He's had some successes, though. Yep. Uh, and now he says he's going to work on drug prices. So when he talks about most favored nation status. How does that impact our viewers if he moves forward with his executive order? What that means is that instead of the rest of the world, other major countries like France and Germany and England mm -hmm. uh, paying lower prices, substantially lower for patented drugs mm -hmm. than Americans do, the United States consumer will have to be offered the same price, the lowest price, basically, that these companies are, you know, ready mm -hmm. to charge them. So all nations, you know, in other words, the folks in you know, Germany, France, mm -hmm. Britain, etc., will have to pay the same as we do. So pharma presumably will have to raise prices. If they want to keep their prices higher, mm -hmm. they're going to have to raise them for other nations, lower them for the United and States. And so do you think it's more likely they'll end up lowering them rather than raising in order to stay competitive? I do think there'll be downward pressure on prices in the United States, Ed, because these other nations don't want to pay more for drugs either. So there's going to be more realistic negotiating, you know, and instead of just kind of using the United States as a safety valve. Mm -hmm. right? But we've seen the president take executive action yeah. and then the Democrats go to the courts and they go to the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals. They go to other places right. to try to block him. Right. Do you think, last question, that if he moves forward with his executive order, he's going to get prices lowered with, you know, and beat back legal challenges? And how quickly... Can it impact our viewers? Is this going to happen yeah. in the next few months? No, it's probably going to take a couple of years mm -hmm. before we can really see this take effect because they'll have to run through the legal process. And don't forget, other countries are not going to be eager to pay higher prices. So there's going to be mm -hmm. a lot of pressure uh, through all kinds of channels. But President Trump is nothing if not resolute. And he's right about this. U.S. consumers yeah. shouldn't be subsidizing Isn't the rest of the world. Isn't this why he got elected, too? Because yes. each party talks about doing something about it. And here we are. It's going to take years and years and years. Absolutely. They talk. They don't do it. That's Man, right. Appreciate That's you coming right. in. Thank you, Ed.